हाय ओम नमः शिवाय सो फ्रेंड्स कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन डिसाइडेड टू डू द फर्दर चेंजेस इन द कैनेडियन टूरिस्ट वीजा सो फाइनली व्हाट आर द चेंजेस दे हैव मेड फॉर 2025 एंड हाउ इट विल इंपैक्ट ए एप्लीकेंट सो एवरीथिंग वी विल चेक आउट इन दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर प्रोवाइडिंग एनी वीजा द फर्दर चेंजेस विल बी कीप इन माइंड ऑल द टाइम when it's come to visitor visa so that this is how they wants to operate and to issue for visiting canada in the future so is this is the final nail in the coffin because uh, after announcing multiple changes in the study permit the study programs open work permits close work permits high wages lmia low wages lmia permanent resident plans and etc etc so canada has decided to take over the visitor visa by storm as well the changes are not looking so pleasant when it comes to the prospective of an applicant who is trying to visit canada in the future so friends in this video today we will be looking at all the changes that canada has finally introduced after the public consultation that were held in the past couple of month in canada inside and in this video we will talk about them in very much details with with all the insights information which are available on the website of IRCC so please be sure to watch the video till end so my name is Sandy Shokin from visa approvals so friends we were talking about visitor visa which is also known as popularly the multiple entry visa multiple visa is a visa that allow people to come to canada from any other country to canada you know once the people get the, that issued from the canadian immigration authority which is ircc so people can visit canada for many times as they want to if it's multiple entry if it's a single entry visa then people get to enter only once and then the visa get cancelled at the airport and the finally the usual validity of the document of a multiple entry visa used to be 10 years or as long as the passport was valid or the travel document that people would have applied with was valid so it would be either be 10 years or as long as the travel document was valid but now as per new rule the new changes that have been announced this month in 2024 are not so pleasant because IRCC has finally decided to give more powers to the officers so when they are considering these visas these are the allot multiple overhead whenever the officer will get to exercise the jurisdiction but over all the changes are going to be divided into two parts so one part is called assessment part the assessment of the application and the most important second part is the validity of overall so the question is what is the first change the first change is the validity of the overall documents maybe or maybe not to be 10 years it can be shorter as well okay based on the circumstances or based on the factors that we will be cover in the video but overall the gist is that the processing has now become more stricter and the officer has to authority to issue a visa or a multiple visa or a single visit visa with a short validity first what ircc says that the ircc officer will be required to look at the purpose of visit with a broader lens of coverage which means whether the person is applying to come to canada for one time event or for example such as a conference or invitation to a business visit or the person is coming here for a tourism so you know once a tourism trip that the person is trying to cover and visa the officer could be consider you as a visitor and issuing you a only one time entry or a single entry visa as well but otherwise the officer would want to look at whether the person is trying to come to canada frequently or not for an example if you are trying to visit their close family members or if the purpose of the visit is also for coming for a short term period exam activity for an example a short course or maybe you are giving an exam or maybe you are coming as a worker or are they coming to canada to take care of somebody who is critically ill you know for compensate reason person wants to apply for a medical emergency visa 
depending upon how many visits the person would require IRCC officer will have the control of your stay officer wants to issue a longer validity shorter validity single entry or multiple entry visa the officer will also have to look at the funds that are being provided by the applicants as the part of application are the funds allowed are they good enough to cover the entire duration of the stay and the multiple frequencies of the stay as well is the person going to have a regular income source for an example an employment or any other income source so that once they issue a multiple entry visa the kind of source of funds continues to come in and if they want to come in the future the officer may not have to re-verifying the profile of the candidate is the application being supported by a host for an example if there is a person who is inviting traveler is the host covering the travel expense or not if yes the host also invited other individuals in the past and does that host have enough resources to bring in all of those people so previously this was not so being done because usually the host or the inviter was not looked at with the lens of scrutiny but now it is it's apparently that ircc will be looking at the inv- inviters or the host as well the medical reasons are also will be going to be looked at very closely if the person is coming for medical tourism or get some treatment or the person is coming here to come to canada to take care of somebody who is not well also if the person has a medical condition and if the medical conditions may or may not get worse in the coming future depending upon all the issuing the ircc could increase or decrease the validity of the visa including making it as a single entry or a multiple entries as well as part apart from this other activities or other factor would be include stronger ties to their home country any family obligation any employment situations ircc officer will be obligated to look at that as well including the travel history of the applicant has the person complied with the term and condition of going to a foreign country has the person returned to his home country within the time frame or not has the person has had any previous visa refusals for canada or any other country guys overall what appear from these changes is that uh, the ircc wants to know make it more stricter when it comes to issuing a visa for canada is this is new well if you think if you look at the countries like usa and the other western countries this may not be new but yes definitely the stricter outlook for canada's visitor visa may be something that people are not expecting especially at this time of point apart from that if you look at the validity or the validity of the visa that will be issued the ircc officer or the issuing officers has been advised to look at the purpose of the visit is the person is coming to visit for a short term of short term or a long term are there repeat visits is it a one time event or a repetitive event depending upon that the ircc officer will have the authority to issue relative visa and officer will be looking at the types of ties to the home country and also importantly this has not been covered in the previous section but when issuing the visa and its validity ircc visa officer will look at the political condition of the applicants in their home country so now this is something new that was not done previously apart from multiple specific situations but if there are certain political condition which are pressing upon the home country then the officer may have the choices of issuing a short term visa or a short term validity of the visa with a single entry or a multiple visa so all in all these changes are not looking so pleasant from the perspective of an applicant but from the canadian immigration or the canadians government point of view when they are trying to put a pause on the population of growth when they are trying to limit the number of temporary resident in the country this is appear to be a shot in the right direction 
whether it's positive or negative only time can tell the situation the truth so this is the information that available on ircc officers or on the website of ircc going forward so it will be applicable immediately i hope the information today was helpful give you much insights into what's happening in the world of canadian immigration all the best and we really hope to see you here in canada all the best to all of you thank you so much for watching the video take care i will give you more updates in my upcoming videos thank you have a wonderful time ahead